so today I am going to be doing a Shein haul with you. I'm so excited. I did a huge order on Shein and you guys know I love to shop and you know I love to share what I got. So if you're excited to see what I got from Shein this time around, then go ahead and keep watching. Okay, I feel so awkward today. I don't know why. Like I had to redo my intro. I don't really do intros anymore, intro, but um... I don't know. Like, I just felt weird. I feel like I look weird. I have this Peloton shirt on. <laughs> don't let it fool you. I only got it because I bought the most expensive clothing rack on the market. Okay. All right. What do we have here? I do have holes in these bags because this was like taped to them. So I had to rip them. So this one is for Madison, my 11 year old. She has not been wanting any coat, her or my teenage son for whatever reason they just wear hoodies and it's so cold here um the past couple of days like after the morning it's actually been really nice but it is usually very cold here around this time of year so she decided that she does want some coats so we picked some off of Shein because they're stylish like I feel like Shein is so stylish and also practical and pretty inexpensive so this is Chicago Coast and or City Chicago Coast and it's like a puffer jacket but it's not thick it is actually like a really thin one and it's like crop top so i love that and then i got this for me it is a nail pillow so basically like if i'm doing madison's nails or my own now i can just like you know like this it smells funky i'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie it smells like it has chemicals on it <laughs> so 271 for that and then i got the shein basic living and this is, I don't, what is this? I think this is a nail tool I got to remove the gel. Yeah, so this is a Shein One Piece Double Head Nail Polish Remover. It was 136. So let me just take it out of the dang bag. And I will sanitize all of this ish before I use it. I don't know if you can see it. Like my light is kind of like really bright today. But it just has like this upside down triangle and you just scrape it off. I got some headbands. Ooh, yes. So I bought some headbands a while ago and they're the headbands that like go completely around your head. And I'm starting to realize that I really just don't care for those. These smell like chemicals. Um, so I started getting the half headbands. These are the three piece minimalist solid headband for $271. I got brown. I got black and I got caramel or camel color. Oh my god, come on! Like how cute, really? That is so cute. And me with short hair, I'm probably I'm probably gonna keep it short, so I wanted to get some headbands. And these are not tight at all. This actually feels really comfy. We have a nail brush. This nail brush is the marble print double headed nail art pen for $226. So it comes with the end that you pick up the gems with right here. And then the silicone that you pick up the um, gel with, the nails with. It just makes it easier and you don't have to use gel to pick them up. Ooh, some makeup sponges. Y'all know I am a beauty blender freak, but $20 for those and I have to replace them so often oh wow this is really soft so I have to wash these obviously and they come in like all different shapes they're all black but they come in all different shapes all different sizes so they're pretty soft so I will wash them try them and update you on if they were any good so for all of these for all seven it was 406 so hopefully they're good hopefully so I got three um nail art brushes that's a little better being a little bit closer for some reason my lights are just like i don't know either too bright or i don't know but they are three really really tiny brushes so those were 91 cents by the way and these are two piece braided wide headbands we have like a minty green and a white one we're gonna take that off I'm gonna like fix my hair so I can try to like wear it like legit. Hold on. Oh my god, these are so cute. And they're like thick, like I like. I don't like really, really thin ones because I have really thick hair. So really, really like super thin headbands get lost on me 100%. This is the Shein 
cold break solid hooded winter coat for twenty dollars and sixty months. Oh my god, this is so pretty. I don't know if this is gonna fit Madison though. She's tiny. So it's like metallic. Um, it shimmers gold. Like this is so pretty. It's like a champagne color, but it also shimmers like gold. And it has a hood and it buckles right here. Oh my god, it's like that puffer feeling. It's also cropped and it has pulley strings and pockets. This is nice. It has this like little, you know, so it holds on. Oh my god, that's actually really nice. Well, I mean, that's pretty pricey for Shein. $20, like usually it does not cost that much. I got some nail files. I got a whole stack of them. Two, four, five of them. All right, and that is five 100 slash 180 grit nail file set for 91 cents. And then I got a Skinfinite foundation brush. So this is 271. I've been wanting to try some of their um, cosmetic products. So this is the brush right here, and it does come with like a hole here to put your foundation in, but. I really probably wouldn't do that. I use a pan and I just kind of dab like that and then put it on my face, but you can put it there if you want to. I will tell you, this is actually like, this is really nice the way it feels for $2 and something. So jot that down. All right, so I got the She Glam Color Bloom Liquid Blush in Devoted. And I also got the Sun Sculpt Liquid Contour in Warm Honey. So those are the blush and the bronzer. The bronzer's on the bottom, the blush is on the top, and these are what they look like here. Let me... So there's like a tube and a hole, and then this is the applicator, and I'm just gonna swatch it. That actually smells really nice. So that is what the color looks like really pretty and then same applicator for the bronzer and then that's what the bronzer looks like right here and then I blended it in right there so the next thing I got was a soak all gel like bowl this was two dollars and 26 cents so the bowl comes like this I saw it on TikTok. you fill it with your you fill it with your acetone and then you stick your hand in there and you literally just sit there like that. So I thought that was pretty cool. It unsnaps so you can either, I guess, put stuff underneath here. I don't know why it unsnaps, but it does. And I don't know if I said it, but that was $2.26. So the next thing I have are these headbands. They are red and white headbands and they were $3.16. So these are what they look like. They have little bows. So this one is polka dotted, this one is hearts, this one is plaid, and then this one is stripes. And because Valentine's Day, we have to put on the hearts. We have to. Oh my god. Oh, how cute. Oh my god. Okay, I love these headbands. I absolutely, I'm going to go back on there. They have so many headbands and I'm going to go crazy. All right, so the next thing is a apple shaped brush cleaning pad and i got this for a dollar 36. i've had these before but i keep losing them or my children keep taking them who even knows but ew, it needs to be washed the sinks it just suctions to the sink and it's grippy right here and has all different like lines and stuff to clean my brushes i love that so then the next thing i have is a one piece nail art palette and this is 316. So I usually use like plastic or whatever to either mix my nail polish or put it here so I can paint it instead of like obviously dipping it in the bottle. So I went and got this rose quartz um, nail paint tray. So you put it on here and then you just wipe it off. It's just pretty. <laughs> Why couldn't I just stick to using plastic? I don't know, but it's pretty. This is actually the brow wax, and this is 316. I'm just trying anything really with my brows. They're so sparse, but just nothing really helps them. I think they're a lost card. Lost card. La, 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 la. I think they're a lost cause, to be honest. So this is the She Glam High Brow 
um, shaping wax. Oh, it's white. It looks white. And what do you know? I have a brow brush right here. So that definitely looks white, right? Dip it in a little. It is clear. It definitely came off white. I'm going to use my phone as a mirror just to, just to take a peep. So this one usually sticks up just fine. That's not the one I have issues with. This one is the one that no matter what I put, see how it, it just doesn't do it. They're stubborn. I don't know what it is. Oh wow, holy crap, it's actually sticking it up. What? Okay. So it's not great, but I also just used like all the product on the other brow, but wow. That actually did, wow, okay. Let's put these suckers back down so I don't look crazy for the rest of the video. All right, so I'm excited. I will keep you updated on that to see how it goes, but it was able to lift these bra these like hairs, and usually I cannot get these hairs to lift to save my life. This is a five-piece double-ended nail point drill pen. It's not a drill, so I don't know why it calls it that, but they were $2.26. They're just the double-ended ball pens that you use to like make polka dots or different shapes like hearts and stuff. That's what I use to make my hearts on my nails. So I had some of them before. I just needed more of them. And then this is just a brush that I saw and it just says one piece, one piece blush brush for $1.36 and it just feels really, really nice actually feels really for a dollar 36 like you could tell this is really inexpensive but this is nice <laughs> okay so this is just a nail set oh wow this is like really sealed oh I like that this is a Sologen um one piece dead skin nail scissor and two piece nail brush so I don't know about the dead skin but basically it's just these kind of nail clippers and then it comes with these kind of like cuticle pushers and nail clippers again to go with me starting to really get into doing my own nails I believe these are palettes all right so this is the she glam earth tempo palette yes I do remember this it's so stinking beautiful so this is what the carton looks like and I got this palette for $6.72. <laughs> so if this is good, I will let you guys know. And you can run. Because $6.72, it's usually $7.50, which is still amazing for the fact that it has 3, 6, 9, 12 shadows in it. Oh, wow. This is like really, this is really thick. There's no mirror in it, which is fine. Most, most Morphe palettes don't come with mirrors either. And I have a ton of them. But this is heavy. Like, this is really heavy. Do you guys have anything from She Glam? Look at this. <laughs> this palette is so beautiful. <gasps> it does smell a little funky. That worries me just a bit. I'm just going to do just a couple swatches. Just cut, just, I just had to do like a couple. You know what I mean? Like, I just had to. Oh my gosh. Please tell me if you guys have ever used this brand in makeup oh my god these are stunning i paid less than seven dollars for this palette okay i will be getting more of those as well don't tell steven she glam forever feather palette also 12 can also 676 originally 750 this is so cute it looks like a video game cute okay and i'm just gonna give you a closer look at the packaging this is adorable absolutely adorable right, look at the difference in size like they're both very heavy duty neither have a mirror but look at the size of the pans wow that's weird but let me just give these a swatch so these are the colors right down here this is just leftovers of the last one but these are the colors right down here they are really really pigmented and really pretty so this is just a 20 piece brush set that i got for 13 bucks um i'm not gonna go through every single one of these if you guys want to like me to tell you or let you know how they are i will I really want to wash them before I put them like all over my hands and stuff. I'll do one. They stink really bad. Um, it is really nice 
Like it's a really nice quality. This is really lightweight and this is really soft and fluffy with the duo fibers. But again, one, I don't want to go through all of these right now. <laughs> 20 of them and two I just really don't want to put my hands all over them because they, they kind of stink like paint which I should probably research Shein more instead of just buying shit to put on my face so I'll keep you updated I'll put on my community tab or something about how I feel about these and if they turned out good or not or worth the money but 13 bucks I had to give it a try so that is it guys I hope you liked this haul I hope you liked what I got I did get a lot of nail care stuff and nail art stuff just simply because that is kind of like my new current hobby and what I'm into and some of it's some of the stuff really does smell like paint and I've never had that issue so I'm just concerned because these are all mostly cosmetic items um clothing I don't really care too much about but stuff that's gonna like touch my face and whatnot I'm gonna wash it before I continue to like put my hands all over it if it stinks so just let me know down below if you guys have ever bought anything from them what are your thoughts like did you have any issues any skin irritation etc help a girl out before she dives deep into this situation so I hope you guys like this video and as always if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me make sure you are subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!